With traffic and weather every 10 minutes all day long. 92.5 Fresh Radio. Today's best mix. And I'll write your name. And us. 6.30 Chad. Edmonton's breaking news and conversation station. Tens of thousands of new trees will be planted in Fort McMurray this year to replace the ones lost in the wildfire. Paul Jorgensen with Trees Canada says the not-for-profit has about 25 years' experience. We've planted about 80 million trees throughout the course of our history, and this is going to be one of the biggest single tree planting initiatives that we've ever undertaken as an organization. So more than $1 million investment coming uh, mostly from corporate sponsors, but also from just everyday Canadians who wanted to pitch in and help. Separate Creek, Thickwood, and Métis Local 1935 community will be the first to see the new trees. Beacon Hill will follow next year. Fort McMurray is getting a little more help rebuilding after a fire devastated the community there last spring. As 630 Chad's Daniel Stilwell explains, it's a green investment. Paul Jorgensen says a part of life is having a community that's livable and enjoyable. To him, that means more green space. And since many of Fort McMurray's were scorched by last May's wildfires, there's a lot of work to do. Jorgensen works with Trees Canada, and he says they're going to be planting tens of thousands of trees there over the next few Few years. This initiative is going to be a, a multi-year major initiative. I mean, people think, you know, oh, the forest fires, you know, the fire was put out last year, so, you know, problem solved. But no, it's the issue is still ongoing. You know, there's still work to be done. We're really rolling up our sleeves, working with the municipality, the province, and Canadians from all over the country to make a difference. Trees will start being planted this summer in Surprise Creek, Thickwood, and the Métis local 1935 community. Daniel Stilwell, 630 Chad News. Another light. 6:30 Chad, Edmonton. Edmonton's breaking news and conversation station. Fixing Fort Mac with Global News at 7. I'm Bob Layton. It's minus 16, heading for a guaranteed high of minus 8 today, minus 14 tomorrow. Oilers in Nashville tonight. Face-off show at 4.30. Puck drops at 6 on 6.30 Chad. While work is still being done to rebuild and repair homes and businesses scorched in Fort McMurray, work is about to begin in an effort to replace trees lost in the blaze. Tree Canada's Paul Jorgensen says it all starts with an investment of more than a million dollars. We're going to be focusing our efforts on uh, planting tens of thousands of trees in the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. And uh, right now we're focusing specifically on the communities of Sapray Creek, Thickwoods, and uh, Métis Local uh, 1935 community. He says Beacon Hill will follow next year. Tree Canada has been planting trees for about 25 years. They've planted over 8 million trees across the country. News. The rebuild continues in Fort McMurray, and this spring that will include tens of thousands of new trees being planted across many of the wildfire scorched neighborhoods. Paul Jorgensen with Trees Canada says that the people of Wood Buffalo still haven't been made whole yet. They're being moved back into their homes. You know, people are getting back adjusted to life, but a part of life, you know, is having a community that is nice and livable and uh, and enjoyable. New trees come from a $1 million investment and are expected to be planted in Sapere Creek, Thickwood, and Métis Local 1935 community, followed by Beacon Hill next year.